Hello and welcome back to Digging for Drez. Let's get right to it and get this shuttle back on the ground. We got it into orbit pretty nicely last time. And we've still got about a quarter of a tank. So, we are going to aim to land somewhere in these grasslands. I could try to aim for the KSC but that's a much smaller target and being that I don't know the re-entry profile of this yet or have the um, trajectories mod it will be very hard to aim for any particular spot like that so let's just get about here and actually over the KSC and make a deal but burn. Now I'm still, for whatever reason, having troubles with my trims. It could be a collision error or something, I don't know, but it could be a bit squirrely on the way down. Okay, let's just fire our engines. Not too much. We want a gentle re-entry, so we'll aim for about a 30 kilometer periapse. 3, 2, 1, 0. There we are. And now we want as much electric charge as possible for re-entry. So we'll just aim normal for as long as we can. There we are. Now we do have a couple more contracts, a satellite launch and a um, observation survey thing. But once we get this on the ground, we are going to be launching one of our own missions. One I've been talking about for the last few episodes. We're going to be putting a new module onto the space station. Okay, here we are. inside the atmosphere, close cargo bay doors and actually oh no yeah we should get down pretty easily so we should end up somewhere about here if I'm aggressive enough now I don't have much hope for these little winglets here. They don't do a whole lot, but they do do something. So let's display thermal data in action menus so that I can monitor the temperatures. And it is in Kelvin, so It's still quite warm from launch. Whereas, okay, so the whole thing's pretty hot. Yeah. But we're decelerating nicely already. Now one thing I don't have on this is any way to save the crew if we can't land for whatever reason. I have updated the uh, design a bit in the interim between episodes. I've added, um, obviously not on this particular craft, but it's getting closer to a um, release build. I've added an RCS system, well, reaction control system. Um, what else did I do? Okay, we're seeing some severe heating on these winglets, just as I predicted. Uh, what else did I do to it? Um, oh yeah, I uh, added the um, Vanguard ejection system, which would be very useful if this goes pear-shaped. 
and a few other tweaks such as um, lowering the clamps on the boosters because we have had problems with those. Now, let's see. Still merely suborbital, but a periapt of 27 should bring us down fairly quickly. Let's see, what are these actually at? Yeah, 400 Kelvin. That's about 150 degrees. Because 0 degrees Celsius is about 252 Kelvin. Kelvin's the same scale as Celsius, it just um, starts at absolute zero, which is good for um, science because it means that you don't have negative numbers in your temperature readings. Celsius and Fahrenheit <coughs> both have negative numbers. I'm not sure what Fahrenheit's based on, but Celsius is based on the um, uh, freezing and boiling temperature of pure water. So obviously, zero degrees Celsius is the freezing point of water, and 100 degrees Celsius is the boiling point. A lot of things in the metric system are based on water and its quirkiness. But Kelvin is uh, the one that's used most often in science because it gives the same scale as Celsius, a linear scale, but it starts lower. And I'm just pulling up to try and slow down a bit more. Try and, and this is really what you need to do with re-entry, especially with space planes, is slow down as much as possible, high up, and our flags are overheating as well. I might take those off the final build because not everyone will have that mod for one and two they're really just there for aesthetics. Speaking of flags, I've actually made a um, flag pack. It's up on course now. It's a um, airlines pack so it gives flags for major airlines from around the world. By no means all of them, but it does give options. So yeah, we are definitely landing at this point. And those winglets are getting really hot. I imagine they'll go poof any minute. Let's see, what are we at here? 415, that's pretty respectable. Now, I want to keep my angle of attack low now, because with... Well, I really want to land before we get too far into the uh, night side, so let's actually pull around to the side, make a bit of an S turn, and wow, the atmosphere is really biting us now. Yep, and that makes these heat up a whole lot faster. Yeah, they're gonna go, we're not gonna have those for much longer. Yeah, we also, um, well, I suppose we've got the uh, lights on the wheels. And I don't know if they use electric charge yet. For so long they haven't. It's been kind of annoying. But yeah, these winglets are pretty much exploding right now. Okay, where's our projected... Okay, at this rate we're going to land in that lake. That would be bad.
And was I seeing some shock eating? Yep, they're gone bang. <laughs> I think I'll just take those off the um, funnel's design. Or, it could be a sort of indicator. Like, obviously, these lower ones are going to go bang pretty fast. Eh. I don't know. Das Valdez, um, he's a, in case you don't know, he's a streamer on Twitch. Oh! Oh! Pop, pop, pop. Yep, there they go. He, um, talked about having, uh, sort of canary or sacrificial parts, um, on your craft so that you could, um, tell if you're getting a bit hot. And, uh, that may not be a bad idea. Now that we're getting a bit lower, let's pull up a bit and I'll rest out the scent rate a little bit. Don't want to go too much because we're using up a lot of electric charge. Like a lot of electric charge. I might need to put some batteries on this. At this point, we probably don't need the, el the electric charge. In fact, let me see how we go. I'll turn the torque off. Can I still control it? Yes. Not quite as responsive. Uh oh. What's heating up? Ah, those are the. Whoa, whoa, squirrely, squirrely. Give me those wheels back. Uh. Those are the uh, solar panels in the cargo bay. Okay, note. Unstable in the roll axis. Okay, we're just below 17 kilometers now. So let's see, turn that off again. I'm flying with keyboard at the moment. Whoa! Okay. Don't fight it, just let SAS handle it. And we are actually subsonic, so we should be fine with heating. It's just those um, winglets that came off. Okay, now we're flying like a plane, to some degree. How high are we above the terrain? Nine. So the terrain here is about one kilometer above sea level. Cool. Let's see. Yep. Prep gear. That bit me in the arse once already. Alright, let's switch the joystick. That's easier. Lights do not use electric charge yet. I have to talk to Ben about sorting that out. Did something else just blow up? Nope. And... This actually looks to be a rather nice area to land. Pat and Sam don't seem to think so. Now all we need is to find some way of making it back to the runway so that we can actually recover this for full refund. Because that's the whole point of this, is to create a uh, launch system that allows us to yep there's the lights allows us to launch small payloads with uh, at least some degree of 
cheapness and reusability. Okay, we're getting close to the ground. We're below 100 meters. Coming in nice. Even at low speed, this thing flies awesomely. Okay, flare it. Slow down as much as possible. Touch down and brakes. And there we go. Just those fins that blew up. Yeah, it looks like these flags don't actually uh, matter that much. Let's launch something to the space station, shall we? And indeed, we are launching to the space station. We're a bit wobbly here at the start because trims are still being weird. I've got no idea what is going on with that. It's only been the last few times I've played the game, and only on this save, that I've had troubles. And it's a pretty steep ascent, boost of separation. Pretty steep ascent. But, we have plenty of fuel, so it doesn't really matter. Now I just launched this thing, and the station is quite far ahead of us goes the fairing. It's quite far ahead of us so it's going to take a long time to catch up with it. But I have cut all that out. So there we are. Apoapsis. Onto stage two. And just uh, getting my bearings. Locking a battery just in case, and planning on the uh, circularization maneuver. And performing said maneuver. And now, after about four hours in orbit, and a lot of maneuver nodes, it's time to make the maneuver to meet up with the station get to within, what was it, 1.7 kilometers on this initial meet. And I use a maneuver node to plan the, uh, the uh, rendezvous maneuver just so that I can have an idea of how long it's going to take. And there it is, just sliding on in. There's the alarm. Now, match velocity, push our nerds around, pretty standard, and now it's going to be back to normal speed for the final rendezvous. Pretty standard rendezvous, Let's see how close are we, perfect! Now spin it around with some degree of haste so that we don't slam into it and blow shit up. It's coming in pretty fast. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we are, get on that marker. Okay, there we go. So it's quite a contains little module. It's got um, LCS on it so we can dock obviously. As well as power and also a large docking port on here. Okay, here we are, we're coming in. Alright. So just slow it on down. Close-ish. There we go. That's about as close as I want to be. Uh. <coughs> 
And the only thing is, this is going to end up being close to the station. But I've limited its ejection force to basically nothing. So it shouldn't end up in too a dissimilar orbit. Right, we're going to have to use RCS to slow down here. Because we're just that bit too close. No, we want to go this way. Come on. There we are. So that we don't hit the station. We're going to just miss it. So we're going to be in the perfect position. going to use what little ejection force this has to arrest my motion. Now control from here. Set this target and bring up the Navy Fish docking UI. This thing is a lifesaver. Okay. Don't want to come in that fast. We're still on fine controls. Now we want to be rotated some semblance of accurately. Closing velocity 0.16 meters per second. It's perfect. Douche. And there we have it. Bill and Bob, you now have control of your station. And first thing we're going to do. Apparently I stuck some reaction wheels in here. We are going to rotate it so that it is like this. That way, no matter where it is in its orbit, it will always have panels facing the sun. And now, with this bigger docking port, we can start expanding this station. <sighs> Well, that wasn't too bad now, was it? And also, we can actually set it to appear as a station. So, these two have been up here for 48 days. So that's two months have been up here. I think we might need to uh, run a mission to switch out the crew at some point soon. <sighs> but next episode, we will be finally sending a mission to rescue to rescue Neil from the moon. Ah, what nice timing! So stay tuned for that. Until then, see you guys later.